Alright, uh, welcome back to more Zelda Deluxe Mini 1. And you're gonna notice this first part of this <clears throat> uh, video is kind of sped up. Uh, I guess I'm doing this kind of post-commentary because, uh, uh, this part is basically a lot of grinding for money, and I don't think you wanted to watch, I, I forgot how long this was on raw video, probably like 25-30 minutes or something. Uh, I was probably gonna fall asleep if I tried to do, like, live commentary, so I'm gonna just decide to speed this up a little bit. Just to save the trouble trying to watch 25 minutes of the same thing. Nah, I forgot how fast this is going. Probably it's like triple speed or something. But all this is is just grinding to get money for <laughs> resources here, uh, buy some supplies. Uh, luckily the shop's nearby, so it won't take too long. <laughs> you might get playing at this speed. But yeah, just gonna be using uh, these fires old trouble to grind for free cash. And you can see why I kind of wanted to speed up this video. I mean, you really want to watch 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the same thing over and over and over again. Some of you wondering, like, why do you even bother recording this in the first place? Because I had, you know, I had actually thought of just leaving this out and it's like, you know, I'm just gonna not show this and just you know, get back to the part when I, you know, had all my supplies. But, you know, I usually like to show off everything I'm recording so that it doesn't look like there are any gaps. You know, and I didn't magically buy this stuff from nowhere. I'm showing kind of how I did it here. <laughs> Just kind of a. It's just almost amusing to watch this at like triple speed. And you can just see how tedious this gets. I mean. Because there's not enough free money outside that you buy everything, especially the later items, which cost a lot of money. So this isn't even going to be the last time I do this, so it's going to be a few other times I'm going to do this, because I have to, you know, pick up enough money. I mean, right now it's actually pretty simple because your max... I think my max capacity is only 800 right now. So it doesn't take too long to grind up money, and then just have to exit and go back and buy items, you know, pretty much spending my not-so-hard-earned money. Alright, so we got, I think it was a big bomb bag I just bought. I'll go back here, here for another round, just so I can buy the quiver. Well, at least I'm getting money, it kind of cuts down the amount of grinding a little bit. Start this all over again. A good thing you have these troubles so early. You can just really exploit this to get free cash. Even more so in the remakes because they actually drop control 20 rupees. But 
don't even know what the sprite limit is, we just are all multiplying, like, and filling up the whole bottom half of the screen. Good thing for the river. Gives me a nice safe base to, you know, snipe away at him. Well, that actually shouldn't take that much longer, I didn't realize I was at like, 500 already. At least I'm done with this round. <laughs> Actually, well, not as tedious as I thought. I thought it would have taken a lot longer. But still, it's like, you know, 20, 25 minutes. I'd be falling asleep if I, again, did this in real time. Alright, so I got at least some of my expenses out of the way. Make things a little simpler for later on. Okay, so we got that out of the way. And again, I'm gonna bring this back to normal speed, and we'll just kind of continue on from there. Okay, uh, we're back after a bit of grinding to get some supplies, uh, namely the uh, biggest bomb bag, biggest quiver, and actually got the whimsical ring walls out of it. You know, just to fill in those gaps. Luckily it doesn't take too long because, uh, you know, 80 or 800 rupees. Can you imagine if you're grinding up uh, into the thousands of rupees. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up some of the earlier levels. <clears throat> and luckily I have plenty of room to hold cash, so I can uh, beat up whatever I can find here. Plenty of room for ammo as well. off level three. Now that I got a little more armor on my side, should make things a bit easier. <clears throat> then I have more room to hold cash. can drop the twenties as well. You know, free money is always good.
I'm trying to get some lucky whimsical hits because that will uh Oko fire here. Uh, I think that was an Oko right there. And yeah, no chance to split. Okay, now we can go through the regular locked doors. Money that's there. Uh, technically, I could just go up, but. I think I need the extra key from this right side. place to put a key, but well, at least you can't miss it. Since you can't jump or anything. wall on the left, but that just leads back to the room with, that had the bracelet in it. So I don't need to do that.
Trying to remember what level my extra key I have came from. I got bombs back. Yeah, on the regular Dodongos, you just want to use two regular bombs. And a chance of getting better goods. Anything for like 50 rupees, um, arrows, bombs, you actually get half potions, I believe. Not a lot of space to work with in this room. We don't have the boss key yet, so we can actually go left. Yeah, this room can be a little bit difficult to see in, so you might have to again stumble around until you kind of pick up on the design of the room. here. Clocks are always welcome. I'm gonna free pass through this room. Yeah, 
make sure you get the bracelet before getting up to this corner. Pick up the yellow candle. And again, you technically don't need this, but... Might as well pick it up. Kinda gives you a clue which block to push, huh? But assuming I didn't have the extra key, you know, it'd be really hard to tell that you could, you know, push something there. You know, unless you lit up the room. Not a big deal. Alright, so as level three is down. Let's see if I have time to do level 5. Because I actually only have a little bit of that level left. So this part might stretch a little bit longer. I have to fit all the fast forwarded piece in there as well. Last leg of the level. I think there's something I didn't get over here. It feels like more. Arrows or something. I forgot the arrows are bombs. this type of damage. Well, at least I can hold all those bombs now.
and <laughs> died early. Didn't just lose your shield. Plenty of room to hold ammo. I think up to 80 capacity now. The others are just do white sword damage. Not very impressive. potions toward the end of the game. That way I don't have to worry about drunk bubbles. Honestly, I don't think I have to KO this thing. Because I think you can just walk through it and get to the stairs. Oh, there's another half potion. Fill up the whole potion in just uh, one go right there. Buy some super bombs or something. Cause I'm not gonna get the giant wall for a very long time. So might as well put that money for something. Well, at least this room doesn't have that many enemies. Only three enemies. the end of the level, pretty much when it's useless. You're already fighting a Patra. And if you can get good positioning, you know, you don't have to worry about the statue fireballs because they're gonna miss you. You can't get far enough into the doorway. 
Good positioning right there and make things look easy. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't much left of that level. It's just like the very end piece of it. You're already fighting a patcher and you only have a green ring. Again, I might as well buy some super bombs. Not that I have a, two potions. Probably wouldn't have bought it if I bought super bombs if I had a no potion. Yeah, but might as well get some super bombs to use as ammo. Okay, so, should be pretty good on cash right now. Alright, so we took out a couple levels, and next part we'll, we'll have to clean out level 2 as well. Uh, the reason I left that for later is because where level 6 is located. And we'll kind of go from there. Alright, see you guys later.